Welcome back to our super simple farming game in Pico 8. We've just set up some artwork here on our map for a little fence and a little shop where we can go and sell our things, but we can kind of go through it. So let's go ahead and make some simple collision here. And the way that we're gonna do that is when we move our character around, we're gonna test for a couple points in our character and we're gonna make sure that those points aren't over a tile that it shouldn't be over. And if it is over it, we're just gonna move it back where we started. So pretty much if I go really close to the fence, I can move all the way up to the fence. And then once I move here, interacting with the fence, it's gonna move me back all within one frame. So I won't even see it move back and forth. It'll just look like it stopped, okay? So that's pretty much how we do collision. That's, that's I think, the simplest way to do collision in Pico. So let's get to it. For our player, when we have our movement here, I think what we'll do is at the very beginning, before we move, we're gonna save the player's location. So save player location. And we're gonna do that with a couple local variables. Local LX for last X equals player dot X local LY equals player dot Y. And so we're saving that. And then we're gonna do all our movement and everything we need to do. And actually we're just going to check and see if we're colliding. So if collide with two parentheses, then player.x equals play equals lx and player.y equals ly. And so that's really all we need to do to kind of set this up. Uh, but this thing that we're saying collide, this is a function that we have to write ourselves. So this wouldn't actually do anything right now. So we're going to take this collide function. We're going to scroll down here to the bottom. We're just going to say function collide. And we're going to test to see if we're colliding with any of these tiles here that we can't collide with. And we're gonna do this using flags. So each tile here, we can set a flag. And so I'll just set this flag zero, this first one for anything that we can't walk through. So I'll hold shift and just select all of these. So these all have this first flag, this red flag. Okay, so that's going to be stuff that we can't walk through. Yes, okay. Um, first thing let's do is let's say local variable, and we're gonna basically do the same thing, local PTX and PTY. Let's just do that, boop. And what we're really trying to do is figure out the place in our sprite that we want to call like its collision. So I'm thinking just these yellow ones right here, kind of the bottom of our character is good for the, uh, for like a top-down perspective. So this is zero, zero. So this would be one, two, three, four, and then down one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two, three, oh wait, it's three, six. Okay, so three, six. So we're gonna say X plus three, and y plus six. So that's going to be this point right here. That's what we're testing for. And let's just call this PTX1. And we'll also make one called PTX2. That's just going to be the next one over. And we'll use the same y value. This is going to be plus four. So we're testing for this point. This is PTX1 and this point, which is PTX2. Okay. So now all we have to do is say if f get, which is getting the flag of m get, which is going to get the sprite that we're over. Now, which sprite are we over? PTX one comma PTY and then comma zero. That's part of the F get. We're checking to see if the flag is zero. Let's say this, or if we're doing PTX two, basically if either of these points is over a sprite that has a flag of zero on our map, then we're gonna do something. And what are we going to do? We're going to return true else we're going to return false okay so what this is going to do is turn this collide function whenever we call this into a true or false and it's going to check real quick if we're over a tile on the map that has a flag of zero and then if we are over a tile on the map with a flag of zero it's going to move our guy back so that we're not over that tile let's see if this works so we'll move towards this and boom we can't go into the fence look at that uh, try our darndest can't do it go up here we can go almost to the fence but not quite same over here we can go up to the store but we can't go through it i can't go this way either uh, why can't i do it all right so we have to stop at the fence we have to stop at the store oh that worked beautifully so now anything that we want to collide we just give this flag of zero this certain flag so if i have you know whatever it is just make something red and i put it on the map like this save run we'll be able to go over it here unless we set that flag to zero save run and now i can't go over it real slick oh, i love that way of doing collision it's so simple so easy and now we got that set up good job us 
Hey, if this is confusing and you're like, I don't even know how to use Pico 8, I sure would like to learn. Well, I have a course called Pico 8 Noob to Pro that teaches you how to make games in Pico 8. Make sure to check it out. There's a link in the description. And uh, yeah, next time I think we'll work on selling our crops to this guy and making some money. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.